I had a conversation uh, with a guy in the gym. He's about my age, and he was complaining about the millennials and how they uh, lack critical thinking, they lack resiliency, and so forth. And I said, well, it's kind of low-hanging fruit, to be honest with you, to poke fun at millennials because, quite honestly, it was the baby boomers who raised them. And he looked at me and he said, hmm, well, I never thought of it that way. I said, yeah, they're, they're byproducts of us and how we raise them. And so he asked, what do you think it is then? What's, what the heck is going on in American culture these days? I said, it's fear. Almost everything we do is rooted in fear. And anger is very often the fruit of fear. And so you think about it, you know, the baby boomers brag, we brag about how great we are and how we change society and all these things. But it's interesting how we went from the hippies building communes in upstate New York <laughs> to being the yuppies uh, whose focus was money and drugs and so forth. We kind of dropped the ball in a sense and we began raising this generation. But think about the, the time frame they were raised in. It began with 9-11 and then it moved to the financial crisis of 2008-9 and then COVID. I said, I, I, honestly, all of us got whacked broadsided and therefore we're kind of all operating in this very insecure environment almost everything we do is informed by fear i said but here's the real problem the real problem is that we have fearful leadership it's what we call in academia classroom management if you don't have classroom management nobody's going to learn and there's no classroom management these days when fearful leaders are leading fearful people it is literally the blind leading the blind. There are no boundaries. There are, there are no objectives. There's no common ground. It's just, as I've said many, many times before, it's just a giant romper room, a toddler land. And he looked at me again and he said, you know, I think you're right. And I said, one of the things that we need to do is do some soul searching. Are we walking in fear? Are we walking in insecurity? When you think about it, from fearful parents to fearful educators to fearful politicians, what hope do the millennials and the successive generations have to, to build a life? And as a biblical Christian, I know what the Bible says. The Bible says perfect love casts out all fear. Once I got in touch with the unconditional, powerful love of God through Jesus, my fear subsided. It doesn't mean that I don't encounter fear, but I don't react to fear. And I certainly don't react.